Do you randomly fall over? Do you have trouble getting dressed? Do you struggle when you attempt to do your old hobbies? Hi, I'm Terrell. How many times have you said, oh, I'm going to go get in shape? And then you see a video or you walk in a class or a gym and you see some beautiful 20 year old putting her arm between her leg or doing 400 push ups and we're intimidated and we feel out of place and it, we're just not comfortable. This is not that. This is designed for those of us that are regular people that have jobs, that have injuries, that have maybe never worked out before or maybe used to be athletes and life got in the way and we are not what we used to be. I even hear 20 year olds complain about, oh, I hurt now. And as I'm sitting here thinking in my almost 60 year old body, oh yeah, you just wait. This series is designed for us to work through those issues. Have you found that your balance is not what it used to be. Are you afraid of falling? Have you noticed it's hard to reach things off the top shelf or tie your shoes? Put on your pants. Do you randomly fall over? When you drop something on the floor, how many minutes does it take for you to pick it up? <clears throat> Do you have a hard time putting on a shirt over your head? Do you have trouble getting dressed? Do you struggle when you attempt to do your old hobbies? What happened the last time you got on a bicycle? Have you fallen out of bed? Do you randomly fall over in strange ways? Is getting out of a chair difficult? You need help getting in and out of your car. Can you scratch your back? These are all parts of our daily lives that actually require a minimum level of fitness that we start losing as we get older. If you've had any of these issues, then you know why you need to be focusing on your basic core strength and your balance, and maybe also improving your flexibility. Because when you're more flexible, you can turn and catch yourself and you will fall less frequently. Or if you do fall, you'll fall in a better or safer position. 300,000 Americans a year fall and break their hip. 30,000 of those people never leave the hospital. Falls are a major concern for us once we start getting older. As we get older, the muscles on the outside of our hips, those are our locomotion muscles, still keep some residual movement. This is why little old people can shuffle along. But our balance muscles, the muscles that run up through the inside of the thighs into the pelvic floor into the core those muscles keep us stable but those are not frequently challenged what happens is little old people or us as we start moving toward little old people this is what makes us more vulnerable to falls 
we're able to shuffle along, but the slightest challenge can cause us to fall. Being more flexible will limit how often we fall because you're more likely to catch yourself. Working on your balance will enable you to be more stable. Strengthening your legs and your core will give your body the ability to support yourself so that you are also more stable. Good posture improves your digestion. It makes you look thinner. Your clothes fit better. Learning how to stabilize our core, focus on our balance, be able to carry the groceries in. Those are all things that are gonna help us live a more active and fit life, not necessarily being athletes or yogis, but just to play with the grandkids and go for walks and enjoy the weather and our friends and our retirement. Being healthy is an important part of that. And that's what we're focusing on here. I found that in many studios, the jump from level one to level two was a very difficult jump. Level two had back bends and flips and people were getting hurt trying to do something that was beyond their level. I have broken down my level one into about 10 different slices so that you can start from a novice beginning, absolutely, I've never done this before yoga, and work your way up gently and comfortably into what would be considered a normal intermediate class. I have a great selection of classes for you. I do have some full length classes. I also have 10 minute shorts for those days when you just don't feel like working out. I have never taken a workout or a class that I've said, geez, I wish I didn't take the class. I have often said, as I crawled into bed at the end of the day, is I wish I had worked out today. So the 10 minute classes are designed for those days, those days that we're just too busy or too burned out or too tired. A 10 minute class is just enough to do something. I also have 20 minute classes. You should be able to get dressed, take the class and get back out on your day in less than 30 minutes. So that is not a big chunk of time, but it's a little bit more time intensive and a little bit extra work for you. For those of you that are new, I have posture clinics, which I call my quick clinics, where I take one posture and I break it down and show you the modifications that you would need as a new practitioner to that. I have Matt Pilates classes. Each exercise is broken down into a clinic, helping you understand all the details before you join one of the more intense classes where all the pieces are put together. I have chair yoga classes for the days that you're maybe working into your office, or for some of you that this is where you're starting out, you need to use a chair as support. I have yoga for sleep. A lot of people have a hard time sleeping and yoga can be used to calm the body to help you have a more restful sleep and help you fall asleep more quickly. So no more excuses. It's not going to be too hard. Nobody's going to be looking at you. No more feeling intimidated by other people in the room. Go into your golden years active and happy. Come join me for a long life of fitness and fun. Yoga for long life.